the offset tool duplicates an edge selection and offsets it. Its intended purpose is to create, what I call perimeter loops, after Boolean operations. Like the chamfer tool, offset should be used on cyclic vert or edge selections, otherwise non-manifold geometry will be created. The offset tool has the same properties the chamfer tool has. And so, you should definitely watch the chamfer video, if you haven't already. This video continues where the chamfer video left off. If you were to fuse the chamfer here, the result may be a bit bumpy. One approach to fix this, is by first adding a perimeter face loop, using the offset tool. As you can see, it works essentially the same as chamfer. You can choose a side, toggle loop slide, choose rebuild or replace as the face method, etc. The perimeter loop alone doesn't fix the bumpiness of the fuse surface however. But what you can do now, is use the conform tool, which I'll show on the next example. In a case like this, you can also unchamfer and fix the irregularities on the hard edge, by scaling the edge selection to zero on the y-axis, with the pivot set to median point. You could also use the circle tool, which is a modal wrapper around the circle tool of the loop tools add-on. Then, you can just recreate the chamfer or fill it. You can even use Blender's bevel tool for this now. The perimeter loop does a number of things. First, it gives you some space and clean topology for potential changes of the chamfer width or fillet radius. It also creates perfect loop edges for the fuse surface, especially in combination with the conform tool. And finally, it also just looks nice, and tidy, and improves shading in the periphery of the fillet. With projected loops in face mode, the fuse surface looks pretty good here, but still a bit bumpy. Let's add a perimeter loop. I'm now making sure it properly sits on the surface of the original sphere mesh. Check out the videos on stashes and on the conform tool for detailed information on these. Nice. Some manual cleanup is often inevitable. I'm retrieving a stash object here, that was used earlier for the boolean operation. Again, check out the videos on stashes for more info. The offset tool doesn't have to be used after the chamfer tool. It can also be used directly after boolean cleanup, and then chamfer afterwards. In the chamfer video I pointed out, how this example is especially bumpy due to how low the resolution of the sphere is. This again, will be fixed with the conform tool.
I'm even using conform on the inner edge loop of the chamfer here. The fused surface, with projected loops looks great already on this example. I'm still adding a perimeter loop, just because it makes it easier to change the fillet later on, if I want to. Also, with the perimeter loop, I don't depend on the projected loop setting of the fuse tool. The shading is of course still not perfect, due to the triangles and n-gons. Understand, that imperfect shading does not necessarily mean, that the geometry does not describe the form properly. It really just means that the way smooth shading is calculated is rather primitive. Geometry produced in CAD modeling tools, is by sub-D standards pretty bad topology, yet, it shades perfectly despite many triangles. It's doing that via custom normals, which is also what you can do with mesh machine. <laughs> 